written. <laughs> I need this written immediately. That's great. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's called The Undiscoverable Enigma, and it's going to be a real hit. It's a trilogy. It's a trilogy. It's a trilogy. <laughs> it's a trilogy. Three-hour movie series. Just, but, we, we made the little story, the stupid little movie. Uh -huh. um, and then, like, it was just a story about a cat that accidentally got packaged and sold as a hot potato. So he was Potato the Cat. I think he belonged to Cinna. I can't remember most of the plot details. Uh, no, we we found him in what was the food truck because he was going to get sold, mm. but we saved him. Yeah, you, you ordered uh, the food and then opened it up and found him, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have him. And then, the so that was like 30 minutes of a story later, based off images I was finding on Google Images. And I'm just fucking grinding my brain playing <laughs> TFT while hammered, which I'm already not smart enough for, so it's 10 times worse. And they were like, what do we call this film? And I was thinking, like, Potato Goes West or some shit, <laughs> shit like that. Uh, and then Thunder just said, I think Undiscoverable Enigma. And I'm just like, what? Yeah, keep in mind, I did not know what the word Enigma meant at the time I said this. <laughs> so I had to Google that's it afterwards. Like, you pulled it that's, out of your that's, ass. That's, that's just like a title for like a finding a cryptid, the show. <laughs> but, but, well, Enigma literally means like you can't find out what it means. <laughs> like, it's the most it's bullshit the title in the right? world. <laughs> 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 that combination of words has no right being as funny as it is. Undiscoverable <laughs> enigma. Yeah, that's a very good title. It's like a double paradox. It's just like that is the most whatever you say is the undiscoverable enigma is the most mysterious <laughs> shit in the world. That's what made it so funny is like undiscoverable enigma. That combination of words means it is the most mysterious you could possibly get in our fucking human understanding. No one could comprehend it. It's damn, physically no. uncomprehensible. It's I remember I remember being proud because when I Googled it a few minutes later, I spelled both words correctly at the time. And I was like, hell fucking yeah, me. I'm killing it. I'm, I'm killing the game right now. Holy shit. <sighs> it's something you'll never know you don't know. The, <laughs> the true enigma. Okay, I don't know what setting I have clicked in Twitch or like what I'm doing wrong, but I'm like I'm delayed. I'll be uh, in like BB stream for example, and because it, this happened during both league streams, BB. You would read off someone's chat that they had said to you, and then you would answer them, and then I would see their message show up in chat, like like a second later. Oh, so um, there's like a delay. I was like, what are like? Do I have settings fucked up? Is it because of where I live? Like, why am I seeing that? I feel like Twitch's delay has been getting higher lately. I've I've had that for a few times where it's just like I'll see a comment later after they've already hmm. responded to it. I'm just like, what the heck? Maybe they'll maybe they give it to streamers faster or stuff something, but I don't know. Weird me out. No, I've definitely seen that. Another menu item. All right, would you come up to a food truck and buy something called ice cream on the Barbie? Oh, what is... Okay, it makes it sound like you barbecued okay. my ice cream. <laughs> well, but are you that, that is a thing. No! Four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. Oh my God, four fucking... I feel like that's a steal at a, God, at a carnival or some shit. <laughs> okay, so I just want somebody to order it so that in front of them I could turn on the grill, throw an ice cream on there, watch it melt, and then like scoop the... I could liquid into like a bucket. Out of the coals? What do you mean scoop it? Like where are you getting it like, from? Just, just like take one of those like uh you know how you clean the grill normally. Just take that and like push the fucking liquid into uh into like a little like carnival box and hand it over to him. Okay, oh, that's fucking, fucking gross. Uh, carnival box. I, I know. <laughs> that's not what that means. Oh, well, he just shit. Ordered a Dotto's ice cream trying to shame barbie. me out of four dollars. I like that Dotto's whole food like like as if he's to treat his customers good at all. He's just like his whole food. His entire premise is scamming. He tricks you into buying it, you buy it, and he goes, You're dumb for buying ice cream on the Barbie. Stupid idea. <laughs> yeah. I wanna know the best part. Is I'm pretty sure he'll probably get a lot of people to buy this shit. Oh yeah, my exactly. god, fried ice not cream. That sounds wonderful. Are, not if our food trucks were back to back, I don't think he would. <laughs> I don't think you would not tell me. Then what was your food truck? I said the only thing that I could think of at first was doing like the little onion things, but I would just do like normal food truck food. Or I'd do some really cool shit, like some fusion foods that I think would be really sweet. And then Donna would have this fucking upside down ice cream cone on a fucking plate and then scam people. How would they not instantly become my customers just despite them? <laughs> 
people are like, yeah, fuck <laughs> this guy, dude. This guy sucks. I'm like, I yeah. think they would love the presentation of it all. I, there's no presentation. <laughs> it's an ice cream cone that's jammed into a bowl. You took an ice cream cone and you just fucking crammed it into a bowl and called it a day. <laughs> Like, you what do you mean, Ricky Bobby? Like, his, I imagine he smashes it with his hand in front of them, and then he hands it to them. Like, it's just all disgusting. You've never seen... Okay, you've never seen Talladega Nights. You don't even know what I mean when I say, what do you mean, Ricky Bobby? That just occurred to me. We found it earlier tonight. Dotto's never seen Talladega Nights, Chad. Uh, <clears throat> I also may not have ever either. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sinna. Sorry. No? I don't know. Uh, you, I'm you in here with old. aliens. This is not real. Rob Crowd. Hold on, hold on. Talladega Nights, it's, it's Will Ferrell and John C. Riley in a NASCAR movie. It's just a big, goofy movie when. I don't know. I've definitely seen uh, this before, but I've wait. never watched it. I've definitely. Mm, I actually might have seen this a very long time ago. When I was in high school, everybody saw the movie, like twice. I think I've seen this, but it's been very long. I could not tell you anything that happened in the movie. I was probably very young. You were not very young. Oh. Well, when did this when come I out? Hold on. This came out in... 2006. Uh, yeah, it would have been 10. Fuck. <laughs> you would have just, you would have just young. missed it. Fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Shout out to being 10, though, I guess. Shout out to being 10 years a old. A real yeah. age. A real <laughs> fucking number. Yeah, imagine being forever 10 years old. Forever young. I wanna, I be, wanna be forever. Careful, thought I was playing uh, copyright music on a stream last night. Yeah. Before you, I was so confused. Before you were talking about playing the '80s music, you were literally playing anime songs. I was like, I don't think that flies either. No, that was Persona. <laughs> that was just video game music. Okay. Yeah, Forever Young does remind me of Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite was the fucking craze when I was... I, I wasn't even that old. I was barely old enough to watch it when it came out, but I did a lot. I love Napoleon Dynamite. That was a great... That was a banger. You guys all watch Napoleon Dynamite and not Talladega Nights. <laughs> I knew you were going to make that point, dude. I just... I... <laughs> I thought about it for a second. I was like, okay, maybe the age difference is just there. And then like, yo, we all watched the point down about it. It's like, okay, wait a minute. I thought that it was about to hit us with the classic. I just, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny how. Hmm. <laughs> <It's funny now. laughs> <laughs> Do you think people would buy crushed ice cream? Shut the what? fuck up, man. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. People do buy rolled ice cream. No, crushed. Yeah, the... yeah but rolled... Okay, no, people... Is that, some... is that if... just a slushy Dotto? If you mean crushed is in the fetish, I think you could probably sell some. Okay, what? can I admit something? When I have a bowl of ice cream, I stir it up with my spoon. And I it. used to do that. I do it all the time. I think it's so... I think it's... I when, I when I would when I would go to my... do that a lot. When I would go to my grandma's house, she would have vanilla ice cream and I'd dump that, but then she also had some chocolate syrup and some butterscotch, and I'd throw both those in there, and then I'd mix it until they were all one thing. Time. Yeah, dude. Did, did everybody do that? I feel like I that's always life. My ice cream. I would remember. That would take a while, too, to get the consistency I like. Like, it was a lot It was stirring. like a smooth, like, fluid consistency, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I would fucking, I would go to town mixing that shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love doing that. You would have thought he was beating eggs. Yeah, no, because I did it to fucking no, yeah, just in the bowl, I just fucking, fucking just tearing it up. Just yeah, like I was fucking butter. fighting demons in that ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember multiple times having to, like, take a little, like, break. Like, fuck, all right, hold on. All right, let's go. Fucking round two. I hate when I get ice cream from places and they, um. And they overfill it because I'm always like, damn, I gotta eat so much of this before I even get to any point in which I can stir it. That sucks. I went to, you, uh, you still do that. I, yeah, I, I don't know. There. I do it all the time. My local Dairy Queen didn't always do this, but it was one time when I went from where I live, I went to like eastern, eastern Kansas, or no, western, western Kansas, excuse me. And I got a Dairy Queen, I went to Dairy Queen and I got a blizzard. And I think they were just new at doing this. So, like, I had not seen it before. It was. They it was fucking weird to me. So they made my blizzard and they flipped it upside down and I literally mm -hmm. went out loud. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, 
Because <laughs> she flipped it upside down with <laughs> the hands really me. Like, what the fuck are you doing, are you doing that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my fucking grandmother. <laughs> it, just, it just threw me off. Like, I was like, what the... Like, they're like, oh, yeah, if it spills out, you get it for free. And I was like, why the fuck would I want it if it spilled? Like, <laughs> just hand me the blizzard. What is the point? <laughs> I'll eat it and make it liquidy. Yeah, I don't give a yeah, fuck. Like, just... I like how you reacted like my fucking grandmother, dude. Fucking Did your grandma crazy. frequently say phone. fuck around you? No, just when the Dairy Queen driver fucking handed it to her upside down, she said, "Ah, you fuck!" And I was like, "Oh!" And I was, and I was like, "No, they do that all. The, that's what they do. They have to do that." And she said, "Well, I just think that's stupid." They did not do that at my Dairy Queen. They did that when I went to a, a foreign Dairy Queen on the other end of Kansas. <laughs> foreign. And it was my first time seeing it. It's just, why are you doing that, lady? Like, it just took me off guard. All right. So, final ice cream pitch. If I did like ice cream nostalgia edition where I just swirled it for people, but I did it by hand and it was clear that it took a lot out of me, would people buy that? I feel like you I, eventually I think would just be wasting so much per order that you would not make a profit. If you just didn't explain to people what it was, if you just said ice cream nostalgia and then you served that and it was just like chocolate syrup, butterscotch, and vanilla ice cream in a bowl, I think it would do fine. I'd buy it. Exactly. But I would have to, no, I would wait, have to stir wait. it for an yeah. uncomfortably amount, long amount of time in front of. Would them that be worth like the four dollars a pop? Yeah. Dotto. <laughs> if you thought it was a normal. Pitch, I think it'd be worth even pitch. more to watch Dotto get like uncomfortably, you know, fucking out of breath trying like, to stir my shit. Uncomfortably fucking into it, just like all right, one one order coming up, and I just go like, vigorously churning the back. <laughs> just I'd walk for, away like, going, you know what, that guy earned my four dollars. <laughs> a lot of work into that. <laughs> yeah. The whole time, I'm just like, you wouldn't get this from the other food truck. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Four weeks into it, you'd look like Quagmire with how the one big gonna, arm. How are you going to style your steakums, dude? That's what I want to hear. I want to hear what you're going to do. provolone over the top. That's it. It's quite nostalgic. Maybe there, some daughter. toasted buns. Okay. That's about okay. all I can muster up, though. Yeah, yeah you're so tired from doing all the ice cream. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking beat from doing the ice cream, dude. <laughs> Fucking God forbid somebody orders two, three fucking ice cream nostalgia. I just, just want to see oh, a lady come up and they order a bunch of ice. They order like seven ice cream. Nostalgia. Somebody orders seven Standing ice cream nostalgia. They have they have essentially frozen my business. They <laughs> are there for a literal hour. I just I want to see Dotto four weeks later when he has the fucking the one quagmire arm where one arm's fucking yeah, huge from ice cream huge. nostalgia. <laughs> it's just like jacked. <laughs> <laughs> Dotto, you wouldn't have any employees. It would just be you. No, and you know, would kill, that, and that would you. kill the bit. And I would just hope, I'd say, God, I, somebody orders seven. I'd just, I just quietly go, God forbid somebody tries the upside down ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, wants the, nobody wants the ice cream on the Barbie. Are we sure? <laughs> yeah, both, the fresh ice cream. both of those options have a lot less waiting time. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Well, just imagine you tell it everybody, like, yeah, so we can do ice cream on the Barbie or the other one, and it'll take two crushed and a half ice minutes. Cream. Yeah, yeah, crushed ice cream. And it'll take two crushed and a half minutes, cream. or we can do ice cream nostalgia, and it'll take 13. And everybody just goes, yeah, the ice cream nostalgia is fine. I'll wait. <laughs> well, that's what I want. They bring their whole thing. <sighs> that are just crying. <laughs> I like to imagine. I like to imagine if he's doing that, he comes out like you know when Quagmire comes out and his arm is all buff. Yeah, brilliant idea. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's that's <laughs> I just like... <laughs> but I'm just gonna make an Outback food truck that directly rivals yours, and I'll also have ice cream. <laughs> and then, and then Sid is gonna serve ice cream place. nostalgia, but she's gonna have a blender on site, so she can just <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have to do all that hand mixing shit. I, I think that would make that would make me like the underdog story. Automatic what's that, whisker. What's that famous fable where the guy like mines through the mountain before the machine can. The boy who cried wolf. Okay, yeah. But I don't think in this scenario you are coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think you are coming. Here, man beats machine, dude. Well, except in that story, the man dies shortly after doing it. So. Man versus food. <laughs> but yeah, I think people would really enjoy that if I just fucking. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the ice cream to solve this. <sighs> Fuck me. Just fucking. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love ten for my children, please. Chat. Maybe why are we typing John children. Henry? Let's say you I think started. That's the fable or the legend. I don't know what it's called. Oh, okay. Why are we typing John Henry? Let's say uh, people order steakums, so you have to cook those too, and then they order the ice cream salads also. They're, if their steakums ah. gonna burn. 
I was going to say you start burning the steak. You're just going down under, dude. I'm going to be like, you guys, you guys are fucking ruining your steakums, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> steakums and ice cream on the Barbie. Simultaneously. I like that, I like that because <laughs> they ordered more food, they're ruining their meals. It's not Dono. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant takes no responsibility for any fucked up orders. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody orders an ice cream on the Barbie. I'm smiling ear to ear because that's the easiest fucking order of my life. Dotto, someone in chat wants to know what the hell is a steakum. A steakum. Look, look it, it up, up dude. <laughs> Steakums exist. Google is at your whim, and you. The thing is, if he describes it to you, it's not going to do it justice. You have steakum is a rich and tasty. Oh, it's not, dude. Shut frozen up. steak. Frozen. Delight. <laughs> Perfect for recreating your favorite steak sandwich. Mom said ago. rich and tasty frozen. <laughs> it's so gross. There was... <laughs> <laughs> so gross is a bit of an over. It was one day. So my, my brother got a deer like a couple weeks back. It was a couple months back, actually. And uh, there was one day where I was I was having deer steak for dinner. And Rhyme's like, oh, what's eating? I was like, I told him I'm having deer steak. And then the next day I was eating the same shit. I was having leftovers. And he was like, what are you eating? I was like, yeah, I'm finishing up the venison. And he's like, dude, you're just like a you're just like a wilderness man. One day you're having deer steak, the next day you're having venison. And I'm like, Rhyme, that's the same shit. And Rhyme goes, Ugh, I know. I was just because M didn't know, and I was just saying it. And I started laughing my ass off. What's that made me think of? I just searched on Google. From what I can see, it's a brand of frozen thinly sliced steak. Chat, don't fucking knock it till you try <laughs> my fucking my. Food truck. Nothing like some really yeah, thin I steak, chat. I fucking <laughs> cooked that up well for you guys. Put some provolone over it, toasted bread. That would be, be the nostalgia vibes. There you I mean, go. I love how Dotto just automatically goes to that provolone. <laughs> provolone has <laughs> for a lot in this scenario. <laughs> Y'all are going to love it. Come to my food truck. I was going to say, on the bright side, Dotto's ice cream machine can never break, but his arms will just get stronger over time. What do you mean, ice cream machine? Like yeah, you don't have, have any ice cream. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I would okay. just have a bucket. Somebody in chat said it sounds like shitty carne asana. Okay, here's the thing. I cannot express to you enough how much it is not like carne asada. <laughs> it's not even, it could even qualify as a shitty version of it because it has no flavor. It's just shaved frozen steak. <laughs> yeah, you are such a fucking steak i hater, dude. Dude, I, Dotto, come on, man. <laughs> we could just, we could just literally, what is it? We could go to Arby's and probably get the same quality. You know no, what's wild? Dude. Is while I agree with Sinna 100%, it is crazy that the spam advocate is dunking on Steakums right now. Hello? Is it what? I said it is crazy that the spam advocate is dunking on Steakums right now. Listen. Uh, the spam has its issues, and I'm and I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Spam is something I don't eat often, but anytime I've had it, I've had it with like rice and and, and spam masubi. Like their merch is just fire. Okay, you're not gonna get me to back down on their merch. And I didn't Donald say their owned, merch was bad. He, oh, I'm not a spam enthusiast in general, but their merch is fire. But say comes out of a food truck. What, like, what is that? <laughs> kind of a food truck, dude. Make a real food. Uh, it sounds like steak. diarrhea, if I would be honest. But why would you make steakums in a food truck, dude? That's what I want to know. <laughs> so I can Things sell them. The microwave in there. <laughs> steakums. People make steakums in their microwave when they are really depressed. And Donna said, "I'll bring that in a food truck." <laughs> <laughs> microwave. How else yeah. would you be making it? He doesn't have any fryers, oh, no grill, grill, no nothing. Like, just, just like yeah, three yeah, microwaves. <laughs> I'm never get okay. That would be the situation where I would not be able to sell more than it if I was like, so, one steak, I'm coming up. Donald, <laughs> Donald would be running a food truck called Nuke. Like if he... <laughs> I could picture one, his entire setup, dude. One ice cream in the, in the microwave coming up. <laughs> like I could just picture ice this big ass food truck and he's got like three microwaves in the back. He's got his corner for churning ice cream. Why and then just like where everything's all at. Upside down ice just, cream microwave. One shitty yeah, exactly. microwave. One shitty microwave where you can see like it's, I still have like some Chef Boyardee stands. <laughs> or like blew up. <laughs> or a hot dog exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could also sell some spaghetti and meatballs and just not tell people where I got. <laughs> Fucking spaghetti-o brand. 
Yeah. Dumped yeah, out of a can. Made. You think you people go. would question me? I think people would still get a kick out of that. No, daughter. Okay, you. I feel like you think that because you're funny, right? You can <laughs> get away with just absolutely scamming people, and that they'll laugh about it. Which what if I put it? What if I put a little umbrella in, in each bowl, <laughs> like a little? You Martini put an umbrella, umbrella. on the steak. I'm Dotto doing. thinks just because he's hot and attractive and has a 90 inch <laughs> dick that he can get away with whatever he wants. And we're just not going to allow that. <laughs> the people won't like stand for it. Fuck that. Yeah, no. Wait, 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 wait. Before you sue me, have you seen my 90 inch dick? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how big that is? It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it is detrimental. <laughs> how big is your 90 inch cock? BB, that. Yeah. BB, it's, it's in the title. Hey. I just really wanted wow, silence. Wonderful. I would not have. I, I would I not have known. For as long as I would not have known. Self-explanatory. So glad that I know this now. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Who ran off another big fish? So, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna call. I know, dude. Catch a fish. What are you doing? How big is your I give those space women around the ocean. I got some giant king crabs. They were really fruitful tonight. So. Fruitful. Fruitful, I you see. heard her. She got some giant kink crabs. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna be with me in my <laughs> Just little crabs in bondage out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a king crab. Skittling <laughs> back and forth in like a whip. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little whip in between its little claws, dude. That'd be sick. God, I wish animals were just a little more fucking cool in real life. Does that constitute? What do you mean, Donald? Crabs being cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead and elaborate. Does that, does that mean that, that they're not cool right cool. now? King crabs, if they existed in real life, would be pretty fucking cool to see. Just because they had, they walked around on the beach with bondage. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny. They all just have bondage on their arms. It'd be yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> You'd start like peeing on the beach, and a bunch of king crabs would like scuttle over. <laughs> I, I would be scared. <laughs> That would actually stress me out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why would they be drawn to that? Because they're gonna fucking not not to you to the to the never mind, baby. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sports. yeah. Totally. Totally. I want to get pissed on. I guess. <laughs> I just think we should make every subtle joke a little less subtle. Is my goal. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I'm so Anytime glad. we're being under the radar, let's just go over the radar. <laughs> you know, there's two different ways to avoid radar detection. You fly low and you fly really high. <laughs> By directly fucking at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you could just aim for the radar. <clears throat> anyway, BB, you uh you still understand what your personal space is now. Yeah, yeah, they I'm so okay, glad. Did you guys know Chad? Oh my like, god. Yeah, okay. Conversation. <laughs> I was just checking um, in. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say, hey, chat, did you guys know that before I had talked to Dotto, I did not know what personal space was, and he absolutely defined the parameters of personal space. Chat, Dotto, what was the hypothetical? <laughs> it was, God, it was still, this was definitely one of the times in my life where I just wished I hadn't asked it. It was just like, <laughs> whenever yeah, somebody- so much work. Whenever Dotto somebody had regretted walks, meeting me that day. Whenever somebody walks into your personal bubble, you have to say, ah, my personal bubble is <laughs> like a SpongeBob narrator. And that was it. I said, BB, if like a million dollars, but for the rest of your life, anytime someone breaks your personal bubble. And chat, when um, we say personal say bubble, that. you know what we mean, right? Like, like just, just your own, like whatever your own personal little, little space is. Yeah, and let BB, me intervene. <laughs> BB kept trying to make her personal bubble her entire fucking house. Yeah, she's got yeah, like, let me not go like a bubble Walmart. when you walk around in Walmart or the grocery store, but like whatever her whole house is, she wanted that to be her personal bubble all the time. And she said, "Yeah, yeah, my house." And I said, "What?" And she said, "Okay, I'll settle for my room." And I was like, "What are you talking about? That's not a bubble." <laughs> let me explain what I had thought in my brain because I don't think I made myself clear. I thought that the goal was I only got the one million dollars if people did not pop that bubble. So I wanted to be pop that bubble. Like, yeah. It's like a legitimate bubble. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, well, let me have my space if I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna give myself massive enough of space. I didn't think that that meant my immediate personal bubble at this moment. I thought that I could expand that beyond my limitations. Also, it's not a real bubble, and also it can pop. You just have to say the line. 
yeah, there's so many there were so many things yeah, fucked dude. up there was just so many like things that you just didn't understand about the hypothetical <laughs> that Dotto had Dotto and i had to like take turns explaining this to her for like 10 minutes before she was no, like no, oh we, like, images, dead ass chat. they checked the images. time it took them eight minutes for me to understand <laughs> eight, minutes. Yeah. eight minutes to get to the end of that hypothetical <laughs> By and then minute for me to be two, like, oh, yeah. By minute two, it was already like it was we were much, exhausted. By <laughs> minute two, the hypothetical was way too dumb to work. Keeping it going. At that point, it was a chore explaining it to me. It's just like talking to a five-year-old. BB's like, yeah, my house. I'd make it bigger joke. if I could. We're like, yeah, I was, like I was like, why? 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 Would you want it to be bigger? Yes, yeah. exactly. Why would you want that? She's like, well, I'll settle for my room then. I'm like, what do you mean? It's not something you could change. I'm like, I'll make it smaller then. And he's like, baby, that's not the point. And I'm just like, well, then what is the point? Just completely ignoring the parameters of the hypothetical, just really <laughs> focusing in on the size of this bubble. <laughs> I wanted to make yeah, sure that I had personal that space. Funny. I just wanted you to know that I value personal space. And if I were to get a, a million dollars, I would want my personal space. I just made sure that that was the parameters there. Now that I completely go derail and go sideways. Yes. Yes, I did. For eight minutes straight. Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. We eventually figured it out. It was just. Yeah, it was eventually we got to the a end. A while. Of it. It was the there most explanatory times. hypothetical in Dotto's career. Is the only thing. It was way too much fucking work. This is why it's I just like... fucking kill people in hypotheticals. There. Sorry, fucking... what? Yeah, this, this I should have just been dead. Be Do Dotto basically <laughs> sneezed intentionally when we got three minutes into this hypothetical. <laughs> I should have just died. This is why my hypotheticals sorry, are all Dotto. just you fall down a stair, your eye socket get blown out. You're fucking... But you admit it, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, I still stand by the fact that the hypothetical. Oh, kicks okay. in after that happens but <laughs> but yeah that i mean i still ah uh, where's that clip that because i still go back and just fucking die laughing at your fucking responses to that shit <sighs> <laughs> okay like, dotto that, that was such a dumb night i was like why is he giving us hype fiddles that are like 20 fucking seconds long like i don't understand i'm literally gonna <laughs> die dotto. shut up like, okay <laughs> You're about to die. What do you do? <laughs> Fucking die? No, no, no. That's not it. You're dead. What do you do? Goes, <laughs> Fucking dead, Dotto! <laughs> that is verbatim what he said. He, goes, <laughs> he, said, he said, you're about to die. What do you do? We literally were like, we die. What do you do? And then he goes, no, no, no. It's what happens after that. I said, I don't know. I'm what happens dead? after you die? <laughs> what happens when you're already dead? I don't know. Fucking die. Yeah, we were... We could not... It was it was crazy. <laughs> was it? Dotto, what the fuck was the hypothetical? It's not please. True. The hypothetical was that. Okay, be me. I've been thinking for you. Oh my please, god. No. You're, Here's another eight you're, minutes of your time, you're Jack. Ga you're gaming. You're playing League of Legends, right? Okay. Yeah. And you hear a fucking like cybernetic portal open up behind you, and out okay. steps the future cyberpunk version of you with cybernetic enhancements to their arm. They have a metal arm. They have a metal eye. They have a metal leg. Got it. And they're like, I have to warn you. The future is bleak. You need to know that. And then they turn to Ash before they can say it. So you go, man, that shit was fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. I need to get a drink of water. Calm my mind. So you go to go downstairs and you slip and fall at all of those injuries that <laughs> that you had on your cybernetic person mm -hmm. happen to you right there. So your arm blows off, your leg blows Locked off, your eye, <laughs> your eye blows out. <laughs> so what do you what do you do? <laughs> like that's so I've <laughs> fallen, my eyes come out of my face <laughs> what do i do at this point after i've fallen down a flight of stairs right it's not potentially cracked my head after you've hit the bottom of the stairs and you realize everything that just happened to that guy happened. <laughs> what now, do i do yeah, after i've you, been you dead do? yeah what do you no you're not dead because i'm know not you dead survive. yet okay i survived this entire thing yeah but what do you what do you do what do I do? Probably find a way to reorp open that portal. Maybe take uh take their <laughs> spot. I don't know. Replace myself. Start cyber engineering myself at this point. <laughs> right, BB, BB, I, I literally when he said this to me, I said my answer was I said I don't know. I probably crawl like by my hands outside and I call and scream for help because likely I'm gonna die if I don't get to a hospital. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, it, I don't know why my brain went. I'm automatically going to be able to do this. No, but I yeah, have like, no experience in cyber engineering whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm right. just, yeah, I'm going to go build my arm now. 
Dude, I'm literally, but also you can't because your eye literally blew out. So you can't do that. So but like, he said one eye. What eye? What eye? Oh, I'm sorry, BB. So you leave the other eye blown out while you go build your cybernetic arm. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to wait for that to relax and chill and heal while I, I have like... my, my one eye. I do like that Vivi was fully content on just taking the place of her future self to fulfill the cycle, even yeah, though she no. would just turn to ash. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to yeah, continue so it. I'm just, just going to keep reminding eyes. myself younger and younger until the final <laughs> the final stop. How would you do that, BB? You don't have a time machine. You were just playing your freaking... <laughs> You're just How the fuck your, did my like, future self had it? it? It's gonna pop out somehow. <laughs> yeah, somehow she had to get a time machine eventually. Baby, baby, you're actually the only person this. that's fully grasping this hypothetical. Oh my god, do not do this. <laughs> this is crazy. You, this is some... Okay, not... I'm sorry, Dotto. You're not gonna ask the girl who had to define personal bubble. Uh, well, she's doing this... better with this one. Yeah, I'm... yeah, no. I just had to understand time skipping <clears throat> and stuff. And, you know, okay. after that, I understood it. Dotto, I have a hypothetical for you. Okay? Um, yeah, I'm ready. Ten million dollars. But once a year on January 10th, we'll say, you have to fall down an old Mayan pyramid that is a thousand stairs. I have to, I have to fall down the stairs. You have to fall down a thousand stairs once a year. But right now, in exchange right now, you would get $10 million. Once a year, I have to fall down those stairs. Like, yeah, by the 10th, like, and you have to, like, you're fun on your I'm own. You got to fly dead. out there. You go to the top. I have to do that myself. I have to fly there. Well, I mean, however the fuck you can get there. It's mine. So, I mean, you don't have to go very, it's Central America. You, you don't have to you go very have far. To magically appear there, dude. I was hoping, like, in a hypothetical, I'd magically pop up. No, no, no. You you get yourself there. It was like, it's, there, that's not going to eat into your 10 milli as long as you fly commercial, right? But <laughs> That's fucking crazy. So I still run the risk of dying, though, right? Like, I can get in. Yeah, so you're definitely facing an early death. Um, you know, the first quarter of your year might be spent with, with injuries. On account of you fall down a thousand steps, and that's a fucking lot. And they're, they're also stones, so, you know. This is me after my fucking nine-hour flight to the Mayan temples. Yeah, your nine-hour flight to your one-hour <laughs> stair fall. Let's look at <laughs> And then immediately fall. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, that's <laughs> me after my fucking nine-hour flight and climbing up all the fucking stairs. Let her go. <laughs> <laughs> Let her go. <laughs> I fucking... I'd be dead on the first fall, man. At least it would be pretty comical for the other tourists, I guess. What if we cut it to 100 steps? I'd still be probably pretty fucking dead. <laughs> Wait, can you prepare anything at the very bottom to, like, safety the landing? I don't think the very bottom is your concern. Is, I, the I think very bottom is not my concern. I think it's the 99 yeah. other steps that you gotta be worried <laughs> it's about. the 99 other steps. That, You're that just gonna hear me go, whoa, oh, oh, and then I'm gonna go silent on, like, step number six as I'm falling. <laughs> but you at least have a really comfy landing. I'm not sure if you'd make it there, though. I'd be but, dead. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be dead, but you'll have a but nice. But your body would land in such a soft pillow, little. Exactly. Like... Exactly. Yeah. We'll just prepare your your funeral I'll, at that I'll, point. I mean, with the money I have, my fucking casket finna be a movie. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Hypothetically, you're guaranteed to survive the falls until age 55. Hmm. So you're practically. We're just cutting my life in half. This it will suck shit. You me. will break bones, but you will live. This also just fucking sucks because, like, I don't know. How bad can I break my bones? <laughs> how long does it take that shit to heal, chat? Like, if you break your arm, are you is every bone good within a year? Can he, well, can he like, recover for six months in the list? Six months of a 10 million life? Some, I assume there's definitely some breaks you can go to your doctor's just like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> how the fuck did you do that? Crack. <laughs> crack? <laughs> it's the <laughs> way he says crack, man. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing? Crack. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'll let out a classic Yowch! As I'm falling down the stairs. Fucking boy. You have my to head. do that for 99 stairs, dude. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> Yikes, Scoob! Oh, there she go. I know, dude. I'm sleepy. What are you employed? Yeah, <laughs> I might as well be. I've been going to bed like.
really late these past few days, but normally I've been trying to go to bed at like midnight. How was Breath of the Wild? Did you clear that new area you were in? Yeah, I did. I And actually, I was surprisingly, I put on my parry pants today. That's what my chat was saying. I was parrying the Guardians left and right. I was like, man, I'm so ass at parrying the Guardians. Dude, I was parrying them left and right. I was pretty proud of myself. you gotten better at games. Yeah, it was a pretty fun time. Yeah. I really enjoyed myself. You know, if you guys' dream to be crushed if they announce Mario Kart 9 tomorrow. But... Oh, yeah. I'll be okay with that, actually. I won't. I won't be that mad about that. But I really, really, really want Breath of the Wild, man. It's just like, please give it to me now. That's still supposed to come out this year. So if it's not in this I... direct, it should be in the next one. I know, but I'm just, I wish that they would just do me, they would just think of Cinna, you know what I mean, for once in their lives. Yeah, if fucking Nintendo Japan would just once ever just think of Cinna. Just ever consider me, you know what I mean, and would how not, I might feel about the scenario. Would you actually be weirded out if like in the direct they were just like, we've heard popular streamer Cinna Brit really wanted the new Breath of the Wild, so we've decided to move the release day up to next week. Oh, I love dude. that they use her old name. <laughs> I would. I just invalidated her first name. Recorded a while ago. Yeah, I I will do what I needed to do to get that game out. So I don't care. I wouldn't feel weird about it at all. I'd be pretty excited. So I'd be like, damn, they watch my streams, and then I'd have to stop playing their music, uh, copyrighted on just chatting, because I'd be scared. <laughs> Your next slide is just a threat of legal action against you. <laughs> Yeah, Never they give me the game, but then they really take down my channel for all these copies. <laughs> like, everything. Fuck, dude. God. I can't even stream it. This is useless. BB, I sent somebody, uh, I sent somebody a message on League the other day because we were supposed to play games together. I mm -hmm. said, yeah, if you want to play, and like we're kind of the same, but she's higher level than me. And I, I messaged her and I said, yeah, if you don't mind having an inting an inti Volibear bear on your team, smiley face. And then I put the smiley face and I let it sit for a few seconds. I was like, the smiley face looked like a threat. That was not a threat. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You will have an inter on you your You will team. have an inting Volibear bear on your team. You will. Baby, have you seen the foods you can make an Animal Crossing now? No, I have I have completely abandoned Animal Crossing as of yeah, the last DLC. You're an bad. Animal Crossing YouTuber, BB. What are you talking about? I, you know, that's right. My my YouTubing career has officially come to an end for Animal Crossing Damn. due to my one singular video that I uploaded. This is where you retire. Uploaded. Yeah, I retired after. Yeah, I made one upload and I've officially retired. I On made top. it, chat. I peaked. I peaked. This town it has so much stuff in it, it lags your switch. It's yeah. Ridiculous. I want to revamp that entire thing. They got to make a switch pro it, just for BB's Island. It was crazy <laughs> that she gave us a tour for basically an entire hour. And even after the tour, there were still areas I hadn't seen. There was, was more like, She had secret like backseat spots. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Like I, I've, I've seen crazy islands, but BB's by far is the most insane. How many hours do you have in that game? Over a thousand. I have like a thousand something on that game. But you know, Christ, what did I do when I first got into quarantine? I just played Animal Crossing. I put it in a hundred and thought I was going nuts. So yeah, you were. I was going nuts. I you were wild. Every everything in my life at that point i just played animal crossing that's me right now just fishing though my what are the foods you can make now Senna? fishing though you can make so many things i was just looking at this bread basket i wanted to make. i showed you guys my island right i had a little sign you did you did okay. i still haven't oh wait we did see dotto's island we did i didn't I walked around it. I didn't invite anybody over. I think I just. No, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, he just gave us a share and Discord share of it. Yeah. Yeah. I like to think it was pretty humble. Okay, Dotto. Yeah. Ten million dollars. Mm, Five million dollars. But right. once a year, you have to hike the Neeson Mountain Trail, which okay. is a whopping eleven thousand six hundred seventy-four stairs. Only once a year. Once a year. All right, I'll do that. Let me Google how long to hike. You have the buffest legs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you'll never have to do another leg day, dude. You just like if I could get up the first flight, and I'm like, damn, this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, stairs when I went to the gym the other day. 
And I hated it because I did like, you know, I figured I was going to be on there for at least like 20, 25 minutes. So I didn't want to just go super fast off the bat. But then like two people ended up being next to me and they both were doing stairs and they were doing it like really fast. And I just felt like I was getting shown up. I was like, damn, do I need to speed my stuff up now? Because I just look like a little bitch, dude. Said y'all are fucking your pressure. I got that toxic masculinity. I was like, man, I can go faster than this. Then I, and then I upped it only to quickly be like, oh no, I can't. Okay, so <laughs> oh, no. oh no, the world <laughs> record is one hour and two minutes. But I like I don't know what that is for an average person. I could handle it. It's a two mile staircase with a slope that gets up to a sixty five percent gradient. I also might die. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough steps to climb the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai four times, and enough to climb the Statue of Liberty thirty three times. Thought of. How how angled is it again? Uh, up to a grinding sixty five percent gradient. I need to see a picture of this. I'm just trying to imagine if my uh, if I would start getting a fear of heights. <laughs> Uh, absolutely you would, yes. <laughs> Are there, like, guardrails that I could hold on to nervously? Well, you're climbing what... stairs on a mountain, so, like, you'd be on a mountain, so maybe, like, you, your heights wouldn't trigger in that sense of, like, oh, no, I'll fall because you're on a mountain. Okay, then, yeah, I don't think it would trigger. Well, like, well one hour is the world record, Chad. For a normal human being, we're probably talking, like, five. Which isn't too bad once a year. Do you train? Do you bother to train the rest of the year? For, like the climb? Do you like do you keep in shape to be like, yeah, I'm gonna do that fucking probably climb? Yes, probably yes. Especially when you start getting old, right? You start getting old, you're like, I still have to make that climb. Like I could you you probably die on that climb. Yeah, I guess that would be where my life probably ends. I'd just be like, I don't know, I ain't gonna lie, I don't feel like doing it this year. Can somebody I shoot me? I literally <laughs> I literally have to do it. No, you just get ten thousand steps up and then fall backwards. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Call it a life. We had a good run. Oh, that's life. <laughs> we <laughs> had a good run, and then you just there you go. Bonk, 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 dead. <laughs> My soft old man skull. We keep giving Dotto hypotheticals that make him die. So Dotto, I have yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> I have one that doesn't require any death whatsoever. Dotto, if you were confronted with a contract and here's what the contract said would you sign it okay the contract says every day for the rest of your life you get a thousand dollars a day but for every day that you live there is a camera that follows you and it will always be on you you cannot cover it you cannot hide it you cannot Ooh. put it away it's just right there always on you whether you're using the bathroom you're yeah. hanging out with people any conversation that you have is aired and always publicly have fun out. beating off dickwad yeah <laughs> <laughs> but every day you get a thousand dollars for the rest of your life no i don't think i would be able to take that a grand a thousand dollars a day every i think day. You i don't have, have to, to do anything you don't have to do anything the because the biggest drawback to me of that like that is like just my sex life is public everything is but public. if i can get over that no conversation yeah like, you could just up up and be just, you know, yeah, a whole star, I mean, just a movie just star at that point. Turn to the camera like, I'm going to beat off now. I can't cover the camera. I just want you guys to be aware of that. Before we get into this, I need you guys to know I have an incredibly small dick, so don't expect anything. And then, just... <laughs> then there I go. Like, I, was... I want you guys to know I am a grower, but it, it's not going to grow much. I'm not a shower. <laughs> you know? I'm a grower, I'm, not a I'm neither a grower nor a shower, just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> you really turned towards the camera to explain all of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, we're here. We go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> like, let's play. Anyway, let's uh, let's get right into it. Make extra money on OnlyFans. Who would pay for your OnlyFans? You're giving everything away for free. That's the concept. Yeah, I'm a haver. You... <laughs> Some of your chat said I'm a haver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I simply have a penis. It really stops there. <laughs> so. Dotto, what if I upped it to like, you know, ten? Try to go to the bathroom. Be back. Day. Would you do that? I don't know. I still don't think so. What about a million dollars a day? Would you do that? Well, that was just ridiculous amounts of money, and I don't think I would. Because <laughs> I, be I just a ridiculous would. Yeah, I would just run out of 
things to use money for. I think. Oh yeah, you would just at that rate, you would actually be breaking the U.S. economy. I think. No, no, no. But with this hypothetical, money's just spawning out of thin air, and it's not being printed out or anything like that. I, like I'm it's just, that it's just exactly like auto what would break the economy. Yeah, definitely. So, Dotto so, so it's just a, Dotto Dotto currency. It's like Bitcoin even, and Dogecoin, but you know, Dotto coin. I can't. So I can't even donate to charity. I just <laughs> fucking use. It's not tangible. I just give people Dotto bucks. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, no, that would fuck up the economy entirely. Dotto coin, yeah. Dotto coin. Dotto's joining face clan, dude. Hell yeah, save the kids. <laughs> Not sure how fungible that would be, chat. Let me get off and go to bed. I had a 360 trick shot. I saved the kids. It's another day in the life of face clan. <laughs> I go to sleep. I wake up. I accidentally scammed the kids. <sighs> I had a trick shot. Another day in the life of face clan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In a one million dollars, but you have to get face clan tattooed on your forehead. No, <laughs> for one mil, I am not walking around with a face clan symbol on my forehead. No, there's no way <laughs> you would. I would not, of course, you would. What am I saying? I think it would look sick. You're already really confusing to a lot of people, though. I uh, said, You should probably get off and go to bed. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. I was gonna go to sleep, and I was like, "Oh, a hypothetical." Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to sleep. I'm probably gonna be working in chat though, so. Farewell. All right, All right goodbye, Cinna. Phoebe, a million dollars. A million dollars, yes. But you, you get a face clan tattoo on your forehead. Um. Oh shit! How big, Wait. How? Okay. I yeah, missed Cinna, Cinna leaving. Left. I'm sorry. My fault. Cinna just left. Uh, she, she said she 